Are you thinking about bidding on a foreclosure? We were surprised at what we found. We had to come out and see it for ourselves. Check this out. It started at the front door. The homeowner had installed a new front door, so I thought all was good, but the trim at the bottom had fallen off because the nails weren't holding on rotted wood. Look at this. Behind the wood was completely water damaged and rotted. There was missing pieces. They should have replaced this when the door was replaced. Look at That's this. not bad enough. Check this out. When we get up here in the basement and we're up in the rim joist, you can see the daylight poking through. We pull the insulation back and there's literally holes in the house. Now the city water meter is disconnected. That's pretty common on foreclosures. The utilities are going to be completely off. The bank is going to have no interest in turning the utilities on for you. You're, you're all set. You're on your own. Nobody's going to do anything for you. So you want to assume there's going to be a hefty amount of plumbing damage, frost damage in the house. There is no telling how much of the pipe is damaged, cracked, split apart. A visual inspection will only tell you so much. Now you can pay a plumber to do a pressure test on the plumbing system. They'll come in with compressed air, they'll uh, fill up the lines and see if it's holding pressure. A lot of times I've found it's just a waste of money. They're gonna tell you it's not holding pressure. 99% of the time they're going to say it's not holding pressure. Well, that doesn't tell you anything. That doesn't give you that much information. Pretty sure a foreclosure is gonna have lots of plumbing leaks. You wanna know to what extent, you're not gonna find that out until the water is actually turned back on. Another concern we couldn't see until we got inside access to the property was this foundation crack. Now I've seen lots of foundation cracks in my 23 years. This one seemed like it's still an ongoing issue. You have that white efflorescence powder and water stains on the inside. The crack on a poured foundation may be stable, but if it's currently leaking, it can get worse over time causing issues. These cracks can be professionally injected with epoxy and sealed permanently. The next surprise for us was waiting in the garage. The only way to see this is to gain access to all the outbuildings. There is water damage as you can see here. The lower sheathing has years of water damage and rot. This may involve removing all the siding and replacing the wall sheathing. Yeah, until you get in a garage, a lot of times with foreclosures, the garage or outbuildings are locked. The bank might not have a key to the padlock, so it's really a risk there with any kind of outbuildings. Until you get inside and start looking for water damage, you never know what you're going to find. The other surprise in this house was this garage roof. The house had a fairly new roof installed and it looked pretty good, but the garage roof was a totally different case. So the shingles on the garage roof, as you can see here, have been moss covered for years. The roof is dated, well in excess of 20 years old. The shingles are becoming brittle, curled, damaged. Look here, when I barely touch it, they actually are falling apart. This garage roof should have been replaced a few years ago. Now you're risking water damage on the sheathing below and it can become a bigger problem. There's no way you would see this from Google Earth pictures or a drive-by inspection. You need to gain access to the property. Thinking about buying a foreclosure, there's a few things you want to consider. You always have to come out and see the property firsthand. Make sure you get inside to all the property, the buildings, the basements, the crawl spaces, the garages, detached garages, pole barn structures. Don't necessarily believe what the bank has said. They don't have your best interest in mind. You always have to come out and inspect the property. property personally. You will be surprised. Keep in mind, a homeowner that was foreclosed on has not done any maintenance for the last year or years. No maintenance on the property.